Hey everybody, it's Scully. So I wanted to take an opportunity to talk about something on this channel that I'm actually really surprised I haven't yet. Because it's something I deal with more than I care to admit. I wanted to talk about avoidance. So, um... Avoidance can be a sign of really several mental health conditions, or it can kind of be its own thing. Most of us, I'm sure at some point, have avoided something, whether we realize it or not. It's practically human nature to some degree, especially with something like anxiety. It makes you anxious, so you avoid it. It only makes sense, right? Well, avoidance is something that kind of works more in the short term than the long term. There are some things in life that you can avoid, some things you don't have to deal with, perhaps. But then there's things in life that you, you do have to deal with, things that can't be avoided, no matter how much we don't want to deal with it. Well, if you spend a lot of time avoiding something that you have to deal with unexpectedly, you might be setting yourself up for a potential panic attack, and you don't want that, among other things. So if you've been avoiding something for a long time and you have to address it, how do you get yourself into dealing with something that you've been avoiding? Well, from my own personal experience, I feel that exposure therapy has been one of the more effective things that has worked. But the thing with exposure therapy is that it's going to have to get you out of your comfort zone, and that's not easy to deal with. More to the point, you don't want to just throw yourself into a swimming pool, cannonball, when you don't even have your water wings on. Because sometimes when you do want to fix problems in your life, you want that instant gratification, you want things to get better right away. Well, it doesn't always work that way. In fact, most times it doesn't work that way. So you have to take things slow. You don't want to bite off more than you can chew or you'll choke. So you have to think of exposure therapy the same way. Eating small bites of food, little bits at a time, to allow yourself to digest whatever it is that you're avoiding that's making you uncomfortable. Because there, you, there could be a very real possibility as to why you're avoiding something, even if you don't realize it. I mean, think about it like driving. You want to practice in a parking lot backing up, pulling into a parking space, then maybe around some little cones, all that fun stuff before you go out onto any main roads or highways. Because then you have to deal with other people, other drivers on the road, traffic signs, traffic lights, all that stuff that you deal with when you're driving. And you can't just do it all in one day. It takes time, it takes patience. You gotta get yourself comfortable. And it's gonna be very common that when you start exposing yourself to whatever it is that makes you uncomfortable that you're you're gonna have some anxiety to deal with more than likely some uncomfortable feelings that's one of the hardest parts in dealing with something like this is knowing that you're going to be uncomfortable knowing that it's going to be new to you and it's going to be scary but that's why you do it small increments at a time and sometimes it can take professional help too i always thought that agoraphobia was a really good example of something that you can't really always avoid, but people do avoid, and that you have to really work at it to get yourself more comfortable. Because people with agoraphobia, they're not in control about with their environment. They're, they may be afraid of going, for example, to a public place and not being able to escape things that are beyond their control. And that panic, that anxiety that they can have, like panic attacks, can be so overwhelming, so debilitating that they avoid leaving their house so that they don't have to deal with that kind of thing. And it's a very debilitating condition. But more than likely, at some point, you're going to have to leave your house, whether it's to go to the doctor, to go to the grocery, or if your house catches on fire unexpectedly, and then you have no choice but to leave your house. I would hope. I mean, beats the alternative, right? So yeah, it takes a lot of therapy, a lot of hard work to take somebody like somebody with agoraphobia and to get them more comfortable to leave their house and they're going to deal with anxiety and panic attacks before it gets better. And that's same holds true with anything else that people avoid. I mean, sometimes people can avoid things like certain people because maybe they don't want to argue with them. They, 
you know, the person makes them uncomfortable, especially if it's things like bullies where the person wants to beat you up for your lunch money every day and you can't avoid them no matter how many back roads you take. More than likely, you're going to have to face that bully at some point. And that's something that would make sense for somebody to avoid because it could be a safety-related issue or somebody threatening to harm them. But of course, you know, situations like that don't usually go away on their own and they can take you know, more professional help to deal with. I mean, bullies are something that most people have dealt with in their life as well. And sometimes that can take mediation from other people getting involved to finally find a solution and why that person's targeting you and why they won't leave you alone. And, you know, if there's any legal stuff going on. Life is just so full of things that we wish we could avoid forever and avoidance. Let's face it, it feels safe. It's a very indirect way of dealing with something. Instant gratification. I mean, it only makes sense why people avoid so many things in their lives. But as I said before, avoidance is a maladaptive coping mechanism. It only works in the short term. One of the things that you have to also address when it comes to avoidance is you have to figure out why you're avoiding something. Because the thing is, you may be avoiding something and you may not even realize it until somebody points it out to you. Or if it's just maybe something that you were able to get away from for so long before you know it, it presents itself right in front of you. And then, oh great, I have to deal with this again. So... It can be scary to try to find out why you're avoiding things because maybe it's something you don't even want to think about. Hence another form of avoiding. Maybe even avoiding thinking about things that you don't want to deal with. And you're not a bad person for wanting to avoid things. You're just doing what feels safe to you, what feels natural to you. It could just be the first method of defense in your mind. It all comes natural. But really be honest with yourself and do question why you're avoiding things. Because it's not healthy to run away from things, to spend your life being afraid. And fear is something that can keep people alive. And that's part of why people do things like this. So if you do find yourself avoiding things or putting things off, be patient with yourself and know that you're human. And that you're just doing what you feel is right to keep you safe. But know that there are more effective ways in dealing with this kind of stuff. Because if it's something that's big enough, unfortunately, you will have to address it at some point. And you don't want to wait until you can't avoid it any longer to finally deal with it. Because then it probably won't be dealt with in the best way possible. So give yourself time to deal with the things you've been avoiding. Give yourself time to come up with a better plan to address these things so that they don't keep coming back to haunt you. Because eventually it is something you'll get to the bottom of. It's something you'll learn to deal with. And then you don't have to run anymore. You'll have peace of mind knowing that you finally dealt with it. And your days of running will be over. So for all the time you spend running from the problems that bother you, know that when you finally deal with them, you don't have to run anymore. So, until next time. Have a great day, guys.